welcome to another video. Today, today, I will be playing Royal High, and as you can see in the corner, I have 164,000 diamonds. Today, I will be showing you how to do diamond farming, uh, starting off with Royal High, and I'll go to all the long except for Golden High, and show you the best ways to get diamonds and XP. So here at Royal High, there's a lot of diamonds just lying around, and I do have the diamond quadrupler, so I get diamonds much easier, but if you want to get diamonds, you have to be motivated. So let's collect. My routine for getting diamonds is, here I'll just show you. So, I fly over here, grab that diamond, fly up here, grab that diamond, and I actually go to the other one. Now, you only have to do this if you have a fly faster pack, and just fly out the window at the top speed, and you can track this diamond, which gives me 30, but the more you can get one, this is going to be good.
Oh, I have to put a chemistry here and look. A baking chemistry. Oh, no, it's English. But that's kind of far away. And then there's also many diamonds in this chemistry lab. So you can just put a lot of I'm having to be very If you have it on mobile or on PC, I would recommend playing on mobile just because uh, the controls are easier, but I know that some people prefer PC to mobile. Uh, it's, it's just my opinion that mobile is better. Uh, But 
but as I was saying, private servers are people who use the diamond farm because uh, people won't collect the diamonds that you are about to collect that are worth a lot, and you can collect more, and it's easier to level up in them, and you get A plus if you don't complete it, I mean, even if you get every single, uh, like, every single English class thing wrong. Um, so, um, I guess we could If you don't have multipliers, just if you do, then good. So, as this loading screen is happening, oh, oh, um, so, so good shot. Now I'm going to first person and go to the step with the tree going on.
tell you in your daily logins already. And in your apartment, you, with your energy, you can sleep in the bed in your apartment, which will actually, um, which will actually gain your XP. And you can therefore level up. Oh, and, and there's an un 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 there's a un uh, what's the word? There's a un proven method that some people think if you make tea in your apartment, your energy will go down faster. It is not pro proven yet, but several people claim it to be true. Okay, I don't think anyone's done this morning. Let's head over and teleport to the apartment. Oh, yeah. Um, so, uh, I forgot to mention that the luxury high-rise apartments just recently got a lobby which I, I like it and it's nice but i kind of wish you could teleport to your apartment directly or you could teleport to the lobby if you wanted and the lobby could still take you to the apartments because i don't really because sometimes i am lazy i don't want to go all the way to my apartment so then i have a bunch of energy that's at zero and i don't sleep so then i don't get xp i probably could have gotten like 10k if I weren't lazy, but I am, so it's kind of a problem. And the weird thing is, it only takes like less than a minute to make it from this. So, uh, all I really need to do is just dumb not be lazy because like i'm lazy in real life i'm pretty sure everybody is uh, but then in video games all you have to do is like move your finger on the screen which that shouldn't be kind of lazy but it kind of is but as the energy bar goes up um it will when you jump up and get out your xp level will go up uh, sometimes it takes more than one time to sleep, but sometimes if your XP level is kind of high like it is right now, and you have like lots of energy, then you can level up. But, some of you might be asking, how do you make tea? So, you go into your apartment, pick up the kettle, um, put it in the sink, and click the faucet. It will then turn on the water and it will say kettle filling. If it is not in the proper position where it doesn't fill, it won't say filling. And when it says full, just click on the kettle. Turn off the water if you don't want your apartment to flood uh, and place it on the stove. Then to turn on the stove, you click one of those knob thingies. Depending on how many are on, it will take a longer or shorter time to see. Uh, it doesn't really matter. But it'll keep. And then, after it says boiling, you can click on it. So if you want to make hot chocolate, or if you want to make hot chocolate, or heat. So you can either make hot chocolate, make heat. Up only pet, pet, uh, I like to make tea, uh, then you can use it to set, do, select any kind of tea you want. I feel like you only need it. Um, and then it will, then you can say yes. Uh, it is also thought that the more yes you say, the more your energy will go down. Of course, that is also unproven, but I always like to make sure. And then 
can drink the tea. And yeah. Uh, so after I finish my tea, uh, I will sleep in the bed again. And good morning. Uh, then you can level up more. And that's it. Sometimes tea takes longer to be drunken. Let's just go ahead and sleep. And there you are. Uh, if you think this the tea mess is true, uh, join my group. Good morning. CP fans, I think it's called. I don't know. It's either a CP club or a CP fan. I should know what my own Roblox group is called, but I don't. So just join it, and then you can type in the chat whether you think it is true or not. Um. So after we slept, uh, I did not level up, but that usually doesn't happen. And whoa, I only need one more diamond to level. To get 140. Wow. Okay. Um. Okay, so I'm just going to head over to and so I've been to a divine uh, battle royale. Uh, royale high. That's it. Okay. Um. I'm gonna head over to Enchanted High and there is hidden diamonds there that I think you might want to know about. So Enchanted High isn't actually visited that much. So you could go there on a public server and there would only be like five other people there. Um, there might be no people there since Enchantix isn't that commonly visited. But there is only like two red diamonds, which compared to Royal High School is, or Battle of Royale, isn't that many. But there is very many hot pink diamonds, which normally give you five. But... For some reason, or not for some reason, just they gave me 20, so I can get rich off Enchantix High School, and I can just be like, hot pink diamonds rule. So, as I collect this, it gives me 20, um, just grab them around the fountain, so... I would show you where all the diamonds are, but it's but some of them are really easy to find. So I'll just show you the ones that you may not know about. There is a red diamond on here that gives you 20 or maybe 80 if you have the quadrupler or 40 if you have the uh, duplicator. Um, but as you fly around, you, you're like, why are you flying there? But that's because, here, let's up my fly speed a little. There is lots of diamonds scattered around. Yikes, no love. Um, and there's another fountain, but behind the school... Or, I'm pretty sure I'm... Yeah, okay. Behind the school, there is a... Wait. Hold up. Am I on the wrong side? Yeah, okay. Um, Behind this area, there is a hot pink diamond in the shell. A hot pink diamond in this floaty and a hot pink diamond on this board. And then if you fly down to the bottom, there is lots of singular diamonds down here. Uh, it's very, very big down here. Uh, and so you might not collect all of them. You don't need to, but I would because they give me four, but, um, that's just me. 
Um, okay. So, that's pretty. And then, ooh, yes, I forgot one area. The diamonds respawn very quickly. So, you can, you can make, like, 50k off diamond farming at Enchantix High School for, like, 10 days. So, there should be a hot pink diamond in the middle of the shell, but I already collected it. So, as you fly down underneath in the pool, you see lots of diamonds. And this one gives you 20, and then you can fly actually into open air. So, you can collect all these singular diamonds lying around, and we collect this diamond. And then, there's a big 40 diamond. So this cave probably gets you the most. There's a bunch of other caves that basically give you a little less, but there's a bunch of singular diamonds scattered around. And then the breakfast area has diamonds kind of out in the open. You can fly up here, go up onto here, uh, collect these, collect this one. And this one, pretty simple, uh, kind of an obvious spot, and that's basically where all the Enchantix High Diamonds are, um, so let's get on headed to Sunset Island. So, normally, uh, Sunset Island would have pageants that you could enter. So that's one way to get diamonds off Sunset Island, but since I'm playing my friend's private server, uh, I can not, uh, I don't, there's not enough players to do a pageant, because if it was just one player, it would be like not even a pageant, just like, here's 1,000 free diamonds. So, and there's like three players, so Ooh. 